Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll see how to draw the isometric projection of a square prism of 40 mm base edge and 60 mm axis resting on its base on HP, keeping one of its base edge parallel to VP. See this. First we will draw HP VP. This is vertical plane. This is horizontal plane. Now we have square prism like this. It is resting on its base on HP with one of its base edges parallel to VP. So see, this is one. So instead of one, they can ask you two also because in square, it will be automatically two. So either they will write one or two. So just make sure that you check. So first we will draw isometric scale. So you'll draw 30 degree and 45 degree. Remember, you need to do all the labeling and all how it is to be done in isometric. I'm just drawing it for my drawing purpose but in exam if you are doing it then you do it properly you write everything 30 45 everything you write so what I did it is 60 so I took 0 to 50 and 10 is from here 0 10 20 30 40 50 and this is 10 we need to mark 60 and 40 on this from here to here will be 60 and from 0 to 40 is 40 always remember take the dimension which is there on 30 degree it will be always less whenever you are doing isometric projection it will be always less than original diamond so now you'll take 40 and you will draw a helping figure in this also it is not required but we will do it because we need to get into a habit of drawing helping figure and in exam generally it is for one or two mark otherwise they will cut if you don't draw helping figure so you got center point also now this is 1, 2, 3, 4 or A, B, C, D, whatever you want to write. And this is axis O, M. After that, we'll mark M and N for axis when we have to mark axis so I'm doing it M as well as this the vertical distance is N so now we'll start with the real sum what we need to do we need to draw 30 30 degree Then height is how much in this? See, we'll mark 1, 2. 1 to 2, we'll cut it on the right side. And 1 to 4, because it is same. And we'll take height, 0 to 50. Sorry, 50 to 10. That is total 60. And we'll cut here. So this way we'll get the square prism. We need to draw it dark.
now we'll mark axis that is so we'll mark m we'll cut it on this and then i'll mark distance n we'll cut from here so we will get the center point o now we need to cut height down so always remember whenever you are taking distance always take with the rounder in isometric projection because that will help you a lot this is m and o to m you can draw x so i hope you people have understood this now we need to draw a direction of uv that is x and we need to mark o and 30 30 degree as well as dimensioning so i hope you people have understood this sum thank you